Today, a major find in the case of missing University of Missouri senior Riley Strain. Welcome to News 2 at 10. I'm Kenley Hargett. Volunteers discovered his debit card as they were helping search along the Cumberland River. News 2's Nikki McGee shares this discovery nine days after Riley was last seen. Yeah, Kinley, well, I can tell you this has been a long and grueling search for Riley's family. Many of these search efforts being concentrated to right here where Riley's phone is believed to have been last pinged either on top or below this bridge. But as you mentioned today, a major break in the case right behind me here. Several women out searching discovered his debit card at the very bottom next to the Cumberland, and they hope this will lead police to a more narrow search and hopefully get answers for Riley's family. I just met up with Brandy today, like I found her through TikTok, and it doesn't make sense that something so public, like I, I feel like people should be here, people should be looking. On Sunday, social media connected two Nashville women in the search for missing Mizzou student Riley Strain, and it didn't take long for them to come across a major discovery, his debit card. She yelled, I found his card. Yeah. I did. And we immediately And my stomach dropped, and then my innate reaction was to be like, Let's keep looking. Like, I didn't know what to do. She's yeah. like, well, let's call somebody. And I was like, well, let's keep looking. Police confirmed on Twitter Sunday afternoon the bank card did in fact belong to Riley. Brandy Bainan, who has been searching the area since Tuesday, hopes this will lead to an even bigger search along the Cumberland. I want the Tennessee Bureau of Investigations to be involved. This needs to be involved as a criminal case right now, not just a missing person, in my opinion just to make sure we are crossing off everything that we need to cross off. Both of these searchers encourage others to do what they can to assist in the search for Riley. The fact yeah. that I could come out here in yeah. one day and, and myself find the card. And look for a blue wallet, look for brown boots that are flat toed, a size 15. Those are big boots. That's going to be hard to miss, you guys. Above all, they don't want to see the case go cold. Bainan wanting to share this message with Riley's family. Their faces and Riley's face, I'm seeing every time I close my eyes. I haven't been able to sleep the last few days because I know his mom is not sleeping. Um, and I just need them to know that there is people who do care as much as they do and even about Riley and about them themselves and that we really, really hope they are able to take care of themselves through whatever this outcome comes to. Now this evening, I did speak with Riley's parents here on scene. They were on their way to go talk to police, and that was a meeting they originally had set up for tomorrow morning. In the meantime, if you have any information in this case, of course, you're asked to give them a call right away. Reporting live in downtown Nashville, Nikki McGee at News 2. Thank you so much, Nikki. News 2 will have continuing coverage as officials work to locate Riley Strain. For a full timeline of search efforts, you can visit our website at WKRN.com.